<laughs> she brings a totally different perspective into the pop scene. Um, she talks about in Complicated about how a clique should not define you who you are and um, really connects with the teenagers of today. For a debut CD, Let Go is a staggering achievement. The songs are a blend of adolescent despair and look at me rage. Avril hits the senses with an all-out attack of snarling, tenacious punk pop, flaunting her sassy vocals with impeccable guitar work. One East Coast punk pop singer who was impressed with the album was Lizzie Hale. When I first heard her album, um, I was particularly blown away by the uniqueness of it and the fact that it definitely was not uh, your normal pop rock star. I enjoyed the realness of it and I enjoyed the fact that you can tell that she's doing something that she loves and it's not, you know, she's not trying to be anything but who she is. I do have to say that my favorite song would be her first single, Complicated. Um, it just, uh, just even apart from the musical end of it, the music, the musical end is, you know, like I said, it, it's catchy, it's fun, it was stuck in my head for days. She addresses important subjects such as, you know, you don't have to be something just because someone tells you to or because it's, you know, popular or because, um, you know, it's the thing to do. Um, do something that makes you happy and pave your own way. Her voice is very eclectic. It's a mixture of different things and I like the fact that um, it varies from song to song and um, definitely has a unique style. It's, it's not pop but it's not folk but it's not rock and it's, I think it's just an eclectic mixture of all those things and it shows that I think that she listens to a lot and um, she isn't trying to put herself into a specific genre. Her success definitely lies in the hearts of the teenagers and the preteens that are you know, trying to figure out who they are and um, just want to be themselves and have a lot of people around them, you know, telling them what's, how they're supposed to act, how they're supposed to dress, what music they're supposed to listen to. And I think that um, she definitely struck a chord in, in that age group, in the pre-teens to, you know, late teens, just because that's what we stand for. We're pre-teen rebels, that's what we are. <laughs> the future of Avril Lavigne, I think, She'll probably um, move into um, even a more mature sound. I think she'll grow within herself and uh, definitely be up there with um, probably with Cheryl Crow. Mm -hmm.